is main event time from the Little Caesars Arena in Detroit, Michigan. Six Raw All-Stars, one hell in a cell structure. And the WWE Championship is on the line. The following contest is a six man hell in a cell match and is for the WWE Championship. Introducing the challenger from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds, Solo Sikoa. Next time we come your way for a live premiere event, it is four weeks from tonight, Sunday, January the 7th, 2024. We are heading to the T-Mobile Arena, Las Vegas, Nevada, for a Sin City Royal Rumble, where we will kick off the road to WrestleMania. But who will be the WWE Champion heading into the Royal Rumble? We find out right now as the chaos that has conflicted Monday Night Raw month after month comes to a cold and destructive end. Solo Sokoa enters the squared circle. And you want to talk the narrative of cold, destructive, and downright evil. Look no further than the Harbinger of Doom, Carrying Cross. And I'll tell you what, Carrying Cross cannot be in a good mood. Coming up short to Sheamus this past Monday night on Raw, and three weeks ago tonight at Survivor Series, his team coming up short to Sheamus' team in that traditional four-on-four -four matchup. The Harbinger of Doom, Carrying Cross, a man who has been chasing the WWE Championship ever since the summer, finds himself in another opportunity tonight to obtain the gold with five other hungry challengers. Will Karrion Cross be able to finally bring home the WWE Championship? Yeah! Very well may be a dark day in Doomsday if Karrion Cross can accomplish that goal. This is going to be a very chaotic matchup. It is hell in a cell. The most demonic structure ever created. They don't call it the Devil's Playground because it looks cool on a t-shirt. This is Armageddon. The end is here. The final live premiere event of 2023. It is literally go big, go home, survive or die trying and leave with the WWE Championship. Anything goes, one fall to a finish. Earlier tonight, we called the Tornado Tag Team match unpredictable. Well, I think the ante might have just been upped as our main event is getting ready to get underway. So far, two challengers have entered, but there is a field of superstars left, all with one end goal in mind, and that's Monday Night Raw's richest prize, the WWE title. That ominous structure hangs above the ring as Solo Sokoa, Kerry and Cross have entered, and next in line, the Blackheart, Tommaso Ciampa, with a second chance at greatness, three weeks removed from a shortcoming at Survivor Series. And from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 201 pounds, Tommaso Ciampa. I want to bring up this point because it very well may play into the favorite of Tommaso Ciampa in this matchup. All the other men in this match, from Seth Rollins to all the challengers, have been active on Monday Night Raw the last three weeks. But Tommaso Ciampa has not been in action since three weeks ago at Survivor Series. Very well could play in to Tommaso Ciampa being the freshest man in the match. Very well could be the favorite as the WWE Championship hell in a cell structure and matchup progresses. Oh, ho, ho. well, the WWE champion eagerly awaiting, walking down the aisle. Not going to wait one more blithering second. The visionary, the revolutionary, and the WWE champion, Seth freaking Rollins. 
Weighing in at 217 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, Seth Freakin' Rollins! Well, we're going to find out tomorrow if you, the fans, voted Seth Rollins as the Men's Superstar of the Year for 2023. But we find out tonight if Rollins is even going to walk into Monday Night Raw tomorrow as the WWE Champion. Rollins walked into this year as the world champion over on SmackDown, and ever since he was drafted to Monday Night Raw in the spring, has certainly changed the landscape of the red brand. From winning money in the bank in July, cashing it in successfully at SummerSlam, turning away the challenges of Sheamus not once but twice, Tommaso Ciampa at Survivor Series. But no doubt the biggest obstacle to date for the visionary of Monday Night Raw. Five challengers and a target on the back of the WWE Champion. And remember what happened two weeks ago. Kevin Owens defeating Solo Sokoa in the main event, only to be curb stomped by the champion himself. And from Marieville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin. Listen, at the end of the day, you can make an argument for any six of these men leaving Hell in the Cell with the gold. Tommaso Ciampa may be the freshest, absolutely. But Kevin Owens, three weeks ago at Survivor Series, fought through a three to one disadvantage against Solo Sokoa, Damian Priest, and Karrion Cross to win that traditional Survivor Series matchup. If Cross, or excuse me, if Kevin Owens can survive those odds, what is stopping the prize fighter from getting through these five men, surviving Hell in the Cell, and accomplishing that lifelong dream here tonight? Do not look past Kevin Owens. Do not look past anybody in this Hell in the Cell main event. We know what it's only fitting that this man's entrance was saved for last. December the 10th. Let me look into the calendar here. I believe it says, Fight Night! And representing the Brawling Brutes from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus! One of two things could have happened for Sheamus tonight. The Brawling Brutes retain their titles and he hopes to walk away with one himself or the Brawling Brutes as they did lose their titles and it lights a fire under the ass of the Celtic Warrior. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Six men have entered. The cell will be lowered. Only one man will leave Detroit with the WWE Championship. It is main event time live at Armageddon. The bell has sounded. We are underway. One fall to a finish. Anarchy expected. We're gonna do our best to keep up with all the action, but as you can already see, it is gonna be chaotic in there, as it has been on Monday Night Raw, month in and month out, almost ever since Seth Rollins won the WWE Championship. He has had a target on his back, as champions always do. And you know what? Well documented that Solo Sokoa has had his hands, certainly with the blood on them over the last few months, ever since he took out the almighty Bobby Lashley, which created that deadly games eliminator in the lead up to Survivor Series, put Champa in the running for the gold, and really reinvigorated all of these superstars' willingness and desire to become champion as carrying across, delivering Seth Rollins, the first man to meet the steel. Pinfall and submission can only take place inside the ring. Remember that, ladies and gentlemen. Superstars can battle on the outskirts, absolutely, but. The decision must be made in the confines of the ropes. No disqualifications. Goes without saying, Rollins introducing a kendo stick that time. It's Kevin Owens going for an early pinfall on Solo Sokoa, but I think we all know it's going to take a lot more than that. I will say, however, even though with a lot of bodies in this matchup and obviously a lot to keep up with, one of the best strategies for any of these superstars may be to try to sneak a pinfall behind the other superstars back. It's not going to be easy. With so many bodies in there, it's a lot of eyes looking at you, a lot of eyes looking over their shoulders. But if somebody can sneak a one, two, three, some of their other challengers' backs or turns, I mean, that might be 
the best situation, trying to win on luck tonight. Nonetheless, I believe Karrion Cross trying to slide in a table. Sheamus, Tommaso Ciampa throwing haymakers, picking up where they left off last month at Saturday night's main event. Karrion Cross, Kevin Owens. Remember their match a couple of weeks ago on Raw, interrupted by the street champ. Solo Sokoa, I believe Tommaso Ciampa just got sent into the cell structure as Rollins was trying to pin somebody there. This is what we're talking about. So much action to keep up with between these six Raw All-Stars. Who is going to leave tonight with the WWE Championship? Who is going to walk into the Royal Rumble in Las Vegas, Nevada as the champion on Monday Night Raw? and possibly enter the road to WrestleMania holding one of the richest prizes in the business. Man, no friends, no love loss in this kind of matchup. Rollins, who has teamed with Karrion Cross and Saul Sokoa in recent weeks on Monday Night Raw, has gone after both men, as we so would expect in this matchup thus far. Cross on the outside, Sheamus taking care of Ciampa, going to the pinfall, might have caught some of the chair off that victory roll. Nonetheless, not just yet with a victory. Remember, the champion Seth Rollins does not have to be pinned to lose his title in this matchup. Any of these challengers can pin one of the others to win the championship, as we might see right there. Cross trying to pin Kevin Owens. This is an elimination style. This is one fall, and we will hear a bell. As Rollins now looking to pin Sheamus, as he has two times in recent months. Going back to Unforgiven in Chicago in September and going back to Clash at the Castle, Cardiff, Wales in October. That is actually an incorrect statement. It was a last man standing match in Principality Stadium, but I digress. Rollins won the match nonetheless. Rollins and Sheamus pick it up right where they left off as Rollins delivering the forearm, and I believe from our vantage point, looking through these cell walls, I believe Sheamus might have been busted open off the contact with the corner. Certainly expect some war battles to be shown in this matchup. Oh yeah, Sheamus has got a cut over the left eye, and that is not going to go well for the Celtic Warrior as this matchup progresses. That open wound is going to make him fatigue ten times faster. Sheamus may be at the biggest disadvantage at the current moment because of it. And not only is the cell a weapon in this thing, but you got a table in there that Rollins is precariously looking to set up in the corner. Steel chair still lingering. Tommaso Ciampa now looking under the ring skirt, pulling out another wood. Another wooden table is Rollins sending Karrion Cross right through the wood. And look at that. Not even able to capitalize and try for a pinfall because the street champ Solo Sokoa sent the WWE Champion flying out of the ring. Oh, now look at Solo trying to take advantage, but Kevin Owens right there, not allowing a pinfall. I'm not even sure if we have heard a one count in this matchup just yet. So many bodies breaking up the other's fall. It's the dangers of the hell in the cell. Now champion Rollins. Pick it up where they left off three weeks ago in Madison Square Garden. The last time we saw Champa in action. Will the result be different this time for the Blackheart? Not just yet. Champa could be looking for Project Champ on Rollins. Seth Rollins able to avoid. Seamus Solo Sokoa going at him on the far side of the ring. It's a one on one matchup we have not seen in a couple of months. Battled it out a few months ago on Monday Night Raw. Seamus was the victor. After all the bad blood and recent weeks between Solo and Sheamus in the midst of this Hell in the Cell lead up, I would love to see that one on one again. So many bodies on the outside of the ring and Rollins and Solo going at it for the first time. Those two men were teammates this past Monday night and a losing effort to Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Rollins taking out the aggression on the man that was pinned six nights ago. And Solo kicks out, that might be in the closest fall. We had to a decision so far. Oh, goodness. Maso Ciampa with the steel chair in hand. Solo Sokoa now. And imagine unintentional alliances in this thing like Solo and Ciampa, Cross and Sheamus. Of course, that was not going to last long. Tommaso Ciampa with the chair to the street champ. And now pinfall. Only one in the ring right now. Watch Karrion Cross and Sheamus as Karrion Cross, I believe, just got sent to the cell structure by way of the Celtic Warrior. Doing our best to keep up with the action. The cameraman as well. And Ciampa delivering the DDT to Solo. 
I mean, look at the carnage that's in the ring. A broken table, a fresh table, steel chairs, kendo sticks. And see, chairs being flown left and right. My goodness. Tommaso Ciampa may have been studying the Home Depot warehouse before we got to Detroit tonight. Utilizing those chairs to the fullest extent. Man, how many haymakers are being thrown since the opening bell? Oh, look at this. Look at Sheamus and Solo with the double backbreaker on carrying cross. Odd alliances. Sheamus now. Sheamus, bro kick of the street champ. Into the cover. Oh, but Rollins there to break it up, not even allowing a one count. You saw Sheamus take advantage of the double team, then hit the bro kick on Solo. Unfortunately for him, too many bodies stirring inside the ring. And Kevin Owens going to turn his sights to Rollins. Remember, as we mentioned, Kevin Owens defeating Solo Sokoa. Absolute barn burner two weeks ago on Monday Night Raw. The WWE Champion Rollins getting the last laugh, sending a message to everybody in Hell in a Cell. Vicariously through Kevin Owens when he curb stomped the prize fighter in the middle of the squared circle. And right now, delivering absolute war path. Those cheer, steel chair shots to Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens doing his best to absorb the punishment and sending the champion to the outside. Every man by, besides Joe, oh, there goes Champa. I was about to say every man besides Champa fighting at ringside, at least the closest they can get. With that cell structure surrounding them, but here we go. Rollins now the WWE Champion back in. Tommaso Ciampa has been the institutor of a lot of the hardware in this match. And Sheamus throwing bodies in. Sheamus maybe trying to get some people back in that he can pin, but maybe one too many now. Rollins and Sheamus. One of the feuds that was nominated for the rivalry of the year. We'll find out who the winner of that was tomorrow night. Slammy Award edition of Raw, don't miss it. Rollins and Champa back at it where they were at Survivor Series. Rollins got the last laugh in the garden. Will it be the same tonight? Look at Solo and Karrion Cross going at it. Those two men stood alongside each other at Survivor Series. Certainly weren't friends then, certainly aren't now. And wait a minute, Rollins, pedigree on the steel chair to the Celtic Warrior to cover. I believe that was Tommaso Ciampa who broke up the count. Hey, you remember the final minutes of that last man standing match a couple of months ago in Cardiff, the curb stomp on the chair. Sheamus might be getting a reminder through that pedigree. As Seth Rollins is starting to roll the squared circle. The WWE Champion realizing he's got the biggest target and he's got a fight. Whether he likes it or not. And Solo Sokoa down. Rollins taking out everybody at the moment. Now chair in hand, and Rollins trying to take out that mean Bane-ass street champ. And brawls inside of the ring, brawls on the outside of the ring. Rollins going at carrying cross, but as his eyes turned, as Kevin Owens looking to take advantage, runs right into the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus. And now Owens to the outside. Now the back turn of the Celtic Warrior. One of the dangers of this matchup, having your back turn to your opponents where they can take advantage. Cross taking out Solo. Sheamus, Champa, carrying Cross in the ring. And a double noggin knocker by the Blackheart. Oh man, and Kevin Owens sending Rollins right through the cell wall. Payback. A dish best served cold and, oh, wait a minute. Kevin Owens is scaling the hell in the cell structure. I do not like this for one moment. We have seen too many bodies break through that roof over the years. Seth Rollins, luckily, not getting goaded in. Going back inside the ring, Kevin Owens throwing Rollins through that wall. There is now a hole to exit the hell in the cell. I don't even know what to think. These men will never be the same tonight. Their careers will never be the same. Their lives will never be the same. That is why Hell in the Cell is such a demonic structure. And that is what called to end the chaos that has been conflicting on Monday Night Raw week in and week out. I believe Kevin Owens scaled back down and made his way back inside the cell. We see him at ringside there. 
The other five men battling it out inside the squared circle. Kevin Owens luckily going against his better judgment that time, making his way back inside the ring, and it may benefit him as he lays out the street champ and elects for the cover, but again, too many bodies stirring. Man, it's like we're getting an early preview of the Royal Rumble match four weeks from tonight. There's action everywhere you look inside the ring. Sheamus and Kevin Owens going at it now. There's the strength by the Celtic Warrior, big time shoulder breaker, and Mifa, meanwhile, get, that gets followed up. If we can keep up with the action. The Samoan dropped by Solo to Tommaso Ciampa. Man, everywhere you look, bodies getting thrown, haymakers being tossed. Meanwhile, there's still a table looming ominously in the left corner of your screen. Sheamus getting sent to the outside. God only knows what's going to happen. With an open hole in the cell wall thanks to Owens and Rollins. I don't even know if Owens meant to send Rollins through that wall or if there was just such emphatic force that Rollins' body took out the screws. Nonetheless, Rollins using that kendo stick of the Harbinger of Doom to the fullest advantage, but Cross giving him a taste of his own medicine. Feels like every time the path clears and the ring starts to empty, all the bodies converge at once. All re reset, refuel, and meet back at the starting line. Remember the results of this matchup can only be one fall to a finish. Or submission taking place inside of the ring. Ringside, the roof, none of it matters. The streets of Detroit, it's gotta take place inside the ring. Rollins sending carrying cross to the outside. Champa took out Owens. Rollins takes out Champa. Now the WWE champion might have got caught. Reversal. Kick to the gut. Seth Rollins now going for a pedigree on Kevin Owens. And that's going to do it to retain the title. Not just yet, this grueling Hell in the Cell matchup rolls on. And look at that. Three bodies at once re enter the ring as Tommaso Ciampa has his eyes set on the visionary. Power bomb through the table. The WWE Champion sent right through the wood by the man who introduced that table, Tommaso Ciampa. And Ciampa not done inflicting punishment in and around the ring, realizes there's a lot of work left to be done, but he may have had his back turned to the wrong man. This may be Tommaso Ciampa's night. Fell just short at Survivor Series. Maybe the night is live here in Detroit, Michigan, where Tommaso Ciampa's star is truly burned. All six men back inside the ring in the middle of this hellacious structure. See Cross and Solo teaming up on Ciampa. Left side of your screen, Sheamus taking out Rollins. And Owens and Cross teaming up to take out Solo momentarily. Short-lived team as Owens now hoists Cross up. Snake eyes. Rollins back in. And as soon as you think somebody's got the advantage, the momentum turns in a second in this matchup. Sheamus still sporting that open wound. As this matchup continues to go into championship rounds, that is not going to be good for the Celtic Warrior. Rollins with the ripcord knee takes out Owens, but Ciampa, very tail ending. And Ciampa realizes Solo's up, Sheamus is up. He can't go for the victory right now, but instead he can go for a Project Ciampa. Nobody's in the ring. Ciampa's going to win the title. Oh, Rollins kicks out. How close was that? All four other men were on the outside. Champa, fairy tale ending, followed by the Project Champa, just in a mere second away from winning the WWE title. Almost a fairy tale ending in Hell in the Cell, but unfortunately not to be at least right now. The bodies are still stirring. Hell in the Cell is not done yet, but Rollins looking for a conclusion. Stacking up Solo, not just yet. You know, we said at the top of the night that Armageddon is about the battle between good and evil. 
But regardless of the roles you play, tonight is about the WWE Championship and surviving hell on earth. Rollins trying to take out all the men. Took out Solo, taking out Cross, looking to eliminate Champa. But there's Kevin Owens, who I believe has been busted wide open from my vantage point. Owens now sporting an open wound as he hangs Sheamus in the tree of woe. And Cross looks to inflict some punishment to the WWE Champion. And there has been no rest period. Not that we expected one, but this has been 100 miles a minute since the opening bell. And it really has to be. You gotta push yourself forward. You gotta force yourself to survive. Correct me if I'm wrong, we're gonna have to wait to get a confirmation, but I believe Sola Sokoa also has an open wound. Not sure when that happened, but the street champ is sporting red. Meanwhile, Rollins with a curb stomp to Tommaso Ciampa. Solo Samoan spike on Sheamus. Double pinfalls. Owens breaks up the first. Owens breaks up the second. The match rolls on. Holy hell, it does not get any more anticipation reaching a peak than this contest. Double finishing maneuvers, but no finish as Kevin Owens spelled disaster. Rollins rolling up Owens. Chippa breaks things up. Seth Rollins may own victories over Sheamus, but for Tommaso Ciampa, it is a whole different ball game tonight. He is finding that out firsthand as this matchup continues to roll on. Look at this, speaking of Cross and Solo. Double team of the Celtic Warrior. And Solo looking to take advantage. Meanwhile, Cross going for the straight jacket on Ciampa. And Solo's trying to sneak a victory. But the WWE Champion still alive. Rollins now going back to work on Sheamus. Somebody he's very familiar with, as you saw in the video package before this contest. The wars those two men have been through. The history in 2023 between the Celtic Warrior and the Visionary. From Rollins putting Sheamus on the shelf to Sheamus vying for the WWE title. This could be the ultimate payback that Sheamus has wanted oh so long here tonight. If he can outlast this challenge and win the title. Oh my goodness! I don't know if Rollins was, I think Rollins might have been going to knock Owens off the top rope. Owens was in the air and Rollins inadvertently hit the ref. And still so much action to keep up with. Sheamus is on the outside. I don't even know what to say. Hell in the Cell is just reaching an all-timer peak right now. And now there's no referee, at least momentarily. Oh man, you see how lifeless Tommaso Ciampa was being sent over the top rope as Rollins inverted neck breaker on Karrion Cross. Now Solo, wait a minute, Solo Sokoa, Samoan spike on Sheamus. Going for the cover. I hear it too, I believe it got broken up. Rollins pedigree on Cross and Ciampa breaks it up. Solo Sokoa, spinning Solo. Into the cover, wait a minute, Rollins, curb stomp. Did you see the curb stomp by Rollins? To carry and cross, backs her turn. Rollins stole it. Rollins retains the WWE Championship. Oh my goodness, it could happen at any moment. Solo, I believe he hit the spinning solo or one of his finishing maneuvers. Backs were turned, bodies were out. Rollins capitalized with a curb stomp on Karrion Cross, and he got the pinfall when he needed it most. Here is your winner, and still the WWE Champion, Seth Freaking Rollins. With his back against the wall, a target on his back, five challengers vying for the same end goal. Somehow, some way, the revolutionary survives and the WWE Championship remains with Seth freaking Rollins. After no mercy is shown and a queen is crowned, the bad blood will boil over. Coming your way live on Saturday night, October 19th, from the TD Garden in Boston, Massachusetts. Witness the unforgiving, high octane, and high stakes action as Raw, SmackDown, 
and Noah Nation Gaming channel membership proudly present WWE Bad Blood.